This weekend, Hope Network will host the band The Head in the Heart at 20 Monroe for their benefit concert, Sounds Like Hope. And while they're masking ticket sales as proceeds, Community Affairs Director Casey Jones shows us how the real benefit to the music will help others sound it out. All right, so before you start, today we're going to do duet reading. There is a buzz at Challenger Elementary in Kentwood. We're going to read the passage multiple times to become... Even better read them. Got it. A chatter between teacher and student. Are you ready? Yeah. And all that hum is coming from Hope Network's MEC program. Mm -hmm. Mother. Set that. My sister. And I. To. Read the. Me. Today. Teaching kids with hiccups and vulnerabilities in reading and math to fall in love with words and numbers. Reading, um, what I like about it is that I like looking at the pictures and reading, and I also like um, the sound effects, like the anima and the pias. Akira has been making a bang in the Michigan Education Corps program for two years now. It's like um, you make a noise, the anima and the pia. You make noise, like, like boom. Uh, like booms the onomatopoeia, like explosions, loud noises. With Akira, she is going, uh, doing her work so fast. I mean, I don't know if it's math or whatever other pro uh, subjects they're doing. She can finish the work in just a minimum amount of time as compared to before. Mary Dunn's worked at Challenger as an MEC interventionist for four years. And what they're teaching goes beyond books and numbers. When I first started my first year, that was just going to be, okay, I'm here to help them improve their reading scores. But I didn't realize, I forgot when I was a child what happened with me, I guess, that my confidence just increased. I see them walking down the halls with such boldness and excitement about learning. MEC partners with AmeriCorps to offer help with reading and math across the state of Michigan in 32 school districts. Our goal is closing achievement gaps, and we we are what we call a high dosage intervention program, meaning that it's very frequent. So that means that student is building a relationship with that interventionist every time they meet. And so it all comes together to build a very successful program for kids. 20 minutes a day, five days a week for reading. That's 100 extra minutes of tailored one-on-one -on -one help. Right now, 60% of their students are testing above the goal metric. But the loss of in-person learning through the pandemic, they say, has created a new gap and widened another. Our schools had an even bigger lift because now it was all the kids that needed that extra support to get them back on track. And yet we still had our learners who still had additional vulnerabilities that still needed that extra support. So MEC was needed more than ever. Last year alone, they served nearly 2,500 students, more than 1.7 million minutes of individualized tutoring. This is about an entire school, an entire community that comes together and says, we see a problem, we want to help, and we're going to work together to provide services to close achievement gaps for our kids together. Sounding out the problem in a snap. If there's anyone that is interested in helping a child, they love children and they're dedicated, they want to help see this next generation uh, grow, I would encourage you, please become a part of MEC. There are children that need you, schools that need you. We would love to have you here. Just take it from Akira, now a whiz with reading. She had helped me read better and she helped me sound out words better. And when I'm with her, I, I am. I feel confident and I feel strong. For News 8, I'm Casey Jones, connecting with community.